I've been picking away at it a little bit at a time here all morning. Well, it's about two in the afternoon, but uh, I want to get all this junk picked up. Still got to pick that up. And before I do that, I got to cut these tear these shingles off, and throw them in my truck, take them to the dumpster. But uh, I wanted to get these edges of these foundations nice and clear so I can see what I'm doing. And I tell you, man, the more I'm looking at this O or this uh, T111 on this place, I'm wondering if I shouldn't just replace all this right here on the bottom. And yeah, I'm just afraid of what I'll find <laughs> once I get into that wall. But I do have eight sheets of that coming, but they were intended for this room. But uh, one, two, three, four, I think five sheets will cover this bottom. That will give me a nice fresh look and then I can see if there's any damage. You can see, see how this slopes here guys? When it rains, I don't know who, what genius designed this. All that water flows right there. And I've got this, you know, when I got a roof over this, that's going to stop that. But man, figuring how to do the roof on this one, I don't know. As you can see, you know, I'm dealing with that. And then I realized another issue easily fixed but if I build the building here then it closes this area off I've got rooster fence so I think once I've closed this part off I can go ahead and take that fence out there's nothing there that she could get hurt on or you know but uh, went over been weed eating in the blah, 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 weed eating the garden area boy it's looking good planted a few more things I had two squashes uh, I, did, I wasn't going to grow any. I just kind of mounted up the dirt in this box and planted them there. If they, if they make it, they make it. If not, oh well. And planted some more of them herbs. I think that's the dill. I don't know. That's basil. I don't know what we got. <laughs> we'll be surprised. Uh, and over there, collard greens. We just about got them all filled up. And remember what that was either like I said it's uh, there's no system but I got all the weeds cut in between all the containers that's a nice thing about these tubs you're not gonna hurt them and they're easy to weed eat around I wished I would have put them out further where I'd come through here with a mower but I didn't and they're too heavy to move oh, what else I got done yeah, I got my pallets laid out for my lumber coming Tuesday Bluegrass people coming in already. They've been coming in. So, I'm getting ready to grill up some barbecue chicken. I'm not a big chicken person, but when I do eat it, I do it on the grill and barbecue it. Some barbecue sauce. So, I'm going to get this, pick away at this and see where I get. Pretty nice day, not too hot, but the hot's coming. And let me show you, I mowed the dog yard. Look where this fifth wheel was. You can't even tell now. Look at that. It's all growing in with grass. They got a nice yard. Yep, that's all that dirt area. That's where the fifth wheel was. Uh, that's all pretty much filled in. I try when I'm cutting to blow all the cut grass over onto that. So it seeds it. I think. I don't know. And I'm going to tear this old doghouse uh, contraption that cost me about $400 to build uh, nine years ago, eight years ago. Yeah, I didn't put a good roof on it. It's seen better day. And they don't use it much since I put them dog houses in there. So uh, I'm going to get this grill going. But the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go over there to the puppy dog cemetery. Get all that weed eated real nice. I'm gonna put some mulch in where that I had stone and the weeds just grow through it. So I'm gonna put some mulch down. We're gonna make this area look nice. And I've got a new, oh my God, it's it grown out. I've got the weed eater for this. I haven't used it yet, but I'll cut all this back. Get the graves all nice and clean. There's one there. Uh, and this is Lulu. That looks terrible. I should have never let it get like this. 
I'll probably have to take the torch and kill all them weeds in the rocks. Uh, yeah, I gotta make these look better. There's actually two dogs buried here that were my brothers. And there's Wally's grave. Yeah, we'll get him all cleaned up. And I'll get off. I want to go back further. Uh, I don't want to go back too far because then they'll all be like they're sitting in the middle of the yard. So, like a little bit of that. Man, that stuff I'm never even going to tackle ever. <laughs> Wait for the next fire. All right, guys. I mean, let's get on to some chicken. All right, guys. We're going to make a foil pack for my grill, which is burning right now. Uh... This bowl's for the foil pack. This bowl is scraps for the chickens. We just got a piece of onion. We'll just put that in there. And I'm not going to take you through all of it. Look at that puny old green pepper. I can grow one bigger than that. Terrible. I had that left over from the other day. So I figure I'll go ahead and throw it in there. I always take that out. Chickens love that part. And I cut the good green pepper off the top. You know what? Let's leave them some. Now I'm just going to slice this dude. Ain't got to be party. Throw that in there. Now I'm fixing to hit the Brussels sprouts. Let's do the squash here real quick. Again, that's uh, everything's coming into season now even though it's early spring you know California other places so the produce prices yeah even though they're high their squash is always pretty cheap so I don't really care about growing it so that in the bowl will get one of the chickens Nice thing about having chicken, man, nothing goes to waste. Cut them nice and thick. They do cook down on the grill a little bit. All right, now I'm going to get into the Brussels sprouts. Something I hated as a kid, but I tried it when I was about 45, again, by accident, and I loved it. So every time I fire up a grill, I got Brussels sprouts. I tried growing these two years ago. And there's a lot to it, and I did never, never did get them. So they have nice, beautiful plant, but <laughs> never produced any sprouts. So obviously, I didn't know what I was doing. All right, we'll be back when the grill's going. Well, I'll come back and show you what I do with this. All right, everything's cut up in the bowl. Got it in a big bowl. I'm gonna add olive oil. Then I'm going to take a big spoon full of minced garlic. Throw it in there. Eh, put some more in there. Now, let me see here. Let's just put a little Lowry's season salt in there. And a little pepper. And I just take it. Toss it around a little bit. Make sure it all gets coated with olive oil. This is a pretty big batch here, so I'm going to use a pan instead of a foil pack. And I'll put them in there like that. Make sure you get all the goodies out of there. Get on in the sink. Get on in there. If I can find it in my messy refrigerator, which I will never show you. I know it's already got olive oil, but I like to put a little butter in there too. Just a little bit. Butter never hurts nobody. Now, and I am glad I bought another box of oil because this dude had to be closed. 
cover that dude up. Hopefully the coals are... I like to get these on the grill for about 40 minutes. That's usually all it takes. <laughs> all right, I'm getting my chicken ready. Minced garlic. Put a little olive oil in there and some bourbon. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put a little liquid smoke. That was probably too much. That's all right. I don't really want to salt it. Well, I'm going to season all. Yeah. I don't know how this is gonna work. Ah, get on with it. Just get on with it. Put your hands in it. Mix it up. Ooh, I smell that bourbon. Bourbon goes good with anything you're cooking. Boy, that smells good. There's something else I was going to add to it. Ah, Louisiana hot sauce. There we go. Now I got to wash that bottle off because it's just soaked in my hands. All right, guys. Now we'll mix that up. Now, the next thing you see, we're on the grill, man. Going to the grill. All right, I went and got the foil pack. That looks done. Oh, yeah. I don't like my Brussels sprouts mushy, but these are just right. And see how what I meant when I say this cooks down? So I'm going to cover this back up. Those sweet potatoes, no. They're so big, they're going to be a while. But I think I can maybe give them another 10 minutes and then start the chicken. And... Uh, I'm going to put this in the oven, keep it hot, and we should be good. All right, first thing I'm going to do before I put the chicken on the grill is you're going to want to keep these chickens occupied, you know, so they don't really know what you're cooking. Keep them busy with this stuff. Chick, chick. Oh, they ate the spaghetti squash. Get it, Waddles. Get it. Oh, there's Thelma Lou, finally come out of the nest. <laughs> All right, let's go put that chicken on. All right, we're ready to add this chicken. Bumblebee, go away. And the potatoes, they're getting there. I don't like putting naked chicken on the grill. It's gotta have something for flavor on it. Are we gonna have room? Get on back. Don't stick. There goes my foil. It's pretty windy out. They're barking because I ran because I forgot about the chicken. But I ran for nothing. Because it ain't overcooking or burning. Mm, look at that. Just look at it. Actually, that's what I was watching, Ed Bassmaster. <laughs> just look at it. I just gotta look at it. You can look at this. Look at that. Just look at it. If you haven't seen his channel, I don't know where you've been in, in in life because uh, he's pretty funny does all kinds of pranks better open some vents here man all right let's look at it <laughs> whoosh i found my thrill on dog man's grill Like when it makes him noise. Mm -hmm. You like when it makes him noise. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Got a basket on there. Just bast it. What do you call somebody that basts? 
A bad stuff. Oh, I'm on YouTube. You better watch it. I'm going to show you what, what to do with this brush. Got that barbecue sauce? You go. That's when you live alone, you can get away with that stuff. mess going on. You know, I got the vent open. I like it a little on the burnt side. Oh! I'm out of control here. We gotta stop this man. <laughs> I like it that burnt. Simon says, flames out. Didn't work. I'm gonna put that down. I'm bringing it up away from the flame. Let that barbecue get burnt on there a little bit. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's how I like it right there. Let's put some of these ones that were in the back up there. We're going to do it again. We're going to blast it again. Switch lock. Mm. You like sweet potatoes? Mm. I've got some sweet potatoes. I like french fried potatoes too. Give it a few more minutes. The next shot you see, we're gonna have this on a plate. There we have it, guys. Sweet tater, brown sugar, cinnamon butter, barbecue chicken. I'm trying to stay out of the shadow here so I can make you drool. Brussels sprouts, squash, green pepper, onion. And of course, I'm gonna wash it down with ice cold milk, sweet right out of the daggum jug because why waste a perfectly clean glass and we have a beggar already what do you want happy trail